Dwight Eubanks. Melvin Moore. C.C. Peniston. Sam Fine. Ro Hollis. Who the? Andy Williams here, and you're watching The Future TV. 10, Nine. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1. It's amazing, it's intense, it's inspiring. Hey, Amen to the future. You're watching The Future TV. I'm a feel woman, and you're watching The Future TV. Watching the future TV. Hi, future TV. We are the media. Yes, we are. Hey, it's Nathan Seven Scott. And I'm Dwight Allen O'Neill. And we're here on the set of the Wendy Williams Show. Today, we're going to talk to Morel Hollis, Wendy's makeup artist. And I'm going to get a chance to talk to Wendy. And we're going to talk to her about the trends and style and that kind of thing. So sit back, celebrities, and enjoy the show. I'm here with Morel Hollis, who's Wendy Williams' makeup artist. So, Morel, how long have you been working with Wendy? I've been working with Wendy almost two years. Okay. Yeah. And how did you get that gig? Um, well, first, um, I think she was already going to Hadia for like hair and all that stuff like that. And then she was like, Well, you're in charge of me from the neck up, so I need you to find me someone that can do it. And Hadia recommended me for the job. And then. We did like this promo thing, you know, the promo when it first comes on. Right. We did that, and then ever since then, we just I stuck around. Do you <laughs> remember the very first time you picked up a makeup brush? Mm hmm. How old were you? Two. Two? No. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, I was like, uh, seriously, I was probably around 10 or 11, and I used to, when my mom would go to work in third shift, uh -huh. I would. Play around in her stuff. Uh huh. And when did you get caught by mom playing around in her stuff? The next day. Oh, she, okay. She placed <laughs> everything strategically so she knows when everything is missing. Who are some of the clients that you've worked with in the past? Um, worked with Penelope Cruz, Vivica, um, Salida, um, um, Aluchis, uh, Naomi. Kim Cattrall, Wendy, Puffy, Jagged Edge. I'm going to name four artists, and I want you to tell me what you think about their makeup. Oh. Okay? Mm, okay. Lady Gaga. Love it, because I absolutely love Billy B. Okay. So I think that ever since he started doing her makeup, it's been so much better, and she actually looks... I didn't think of Lady Gaga as being beautiful, per mm -hmm. se, but ever since he's been touching her, like, she looks like beautiful. You see her on the cover of Glamour? Magazine? I haven't yet. I'll check it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, Oprah Winfrey. Speechless. I like Oprah's makeup and I like Reggie Wells. Okay. Alright. RuPaul. Love it. I love Matthew Anderson and I think that he takes her to another level. Like he's a genius and it's so easy. Like, I see when other people beat her, like Sam beat her really, really good, okay. really good. And Matthew just turns her to like a whole nother thing. Okay, um, one more. Maya Angelou. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Right. Have you seen it? I like her red lip. Okay. Mm. So, one final question. <laughs> There are lots of people out there watching this today, and they're probably wondering, how do I break into the makeup artist industry? What advice would you give them? I would say, if you truly want to do makeup, do it, and, I mean, only do it, do it if you love it. Don't do it for the fame, or do it just because you think you're gonna have, like, celeb clients, or, you know, because it's not easy, and it's so clicky, and, you got to be able, like I always say, whatever you do, you got to be able to do it for the rest of your life and for free. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, you know, like you could do it for the rest of your life and not get paid for it and you're still happy, then that's what you need to do. Okay. Don't just do makeup just because, you know. Okay. So, Great advice. Yeah. Great advice. Well, guys, that's Morel Hollis here in the set of the Wendy Williams Show. I'm Dwight Allen O'Neill, and I'm here with Wendy Williams. First off, I want to say, your shoes are fabulous. Thank you. How long has Morel been doing your makeup? Um, Morel was hired when the show started. Excellent. I needed somebody um, who can infuse new ideas, but still be kind to my 45-year-old face, you know? I, 22 and 45, two totally different things, so I need somebody who understood and kind of respected the, the daytime TV genre. 
Oh, cool. So, w with everyday makeup, what's the, the transition in that? And I mean, I guess that you do different for TV, per se. Well, now because I'm on TV every day, I don't wear makeup. Um, when I get off, when I get finished with the show, I scrub my face. Um, but generally, I was a pressed powder girl, Mac pressed powder with a little pigment, C6 or C7, depending on the time of the year, and some mascara. And um, I never took care of my eyebrows. I would always dye them uh, with the Jolene. So they would just, just go away, just mm -hmm. disappear. And now morell has got me grooming my eyebrows. Not only does he do it, but I do it myself. Um, I've learned a phrase called smoke me out, and that's my favorite thing. When he takes a whole bunch of brown powder and just smokes me out. He doesn't just bring it here, he brings it up the sides, and then shades right here at the front of my wig. I I just love that. Um, he tricks me sometimes by using peaches and purples on my eyes, something that I didn't think that I would ever do, but it actually looks very tasteful and beautiful. And he also taught me that three strips of lashes are better than one. Oh, nice. Okay, well, thank you so much. Hey, Future TV, this is Nathan Seven Scott, and we're here on the set of the Wendy Williams Show. Today, we're going to talk to Morel Hollis. Morel. Hey Future TV, this is Nathan Seven Scott. Today we're on the set of the Wendy Williams Show. Today we're going to talk to Morel Hollis, Wendy's makeup artist, and... I'm Dwight Allen O'Neill, and I'm talking to Wendy. Oh. <laughs> Hi everybody, how are you doing?